Hi, I'm Henry. I'm a Schneider driver instructor here in Green Bay, and I'm going to help you with some tips on how to save money while you're on the road based on the experience I've had over the last four years. So a couple things. First of all, create a budget. Know how much money you're going to spend each week on food, um, maybe drinks if you happen to drink something other than water, and stick to that budget. So if you go outside and you decide you want to stop at a truck stop for a, a special drink, Stay to your budget. If you've already used that for the week, maybe you decided I'm only going to have two Cokes for the week. That's it. The rest of the time you stay with your budget. And the same thing when you're at home. Stick to your budget. It's a lot less stressful when you're on the road if you know your budget's working at home. So when you're out on the road, you've got a couple of opportunities and different ways to cook food when you're on the road in your truck. And it's always better to cook something maybe you made at home. So I used to make meatloaf on the road. I would take a couple pieces with me and they make a little cooker you can get at Pilot. You can use your Pilot points to buy them. They're like $30. And then line it with foil, put the pieces of meatloaf in it, cook it for about a half an hour. It's, it's wonderful. And you're not spending money to truck stop. So some things, let's just say that meatloaf dinner, you just made yourself maybe a cupcake tin full of meat, uh, mashed potatoes and your meatloaf and perhaps a veggie might have cost you maybe four or five dollars total when you got it all done. At You can imagine what it's going to cost you at your truck stop. If you walked in the door, plunked down at the table, you just blew a twenty dollar bill. Well, multiply that times five or seven or eleven days when you're out. So be really careful about eating at a truck stop. Every now and then, maybe treat yourself to once a week you'll do a truck stop meal for breakfast or for dinner. You'll stop at the Waffle House in Lebanon, Missouri for breakfast, you know, that kind of thing. But you're not going to do it every day because you simply cannot afford to do that every single day, both from a calorie standpoint and from a budget standpoint. So if you're a coffee lover or a tea lover like I am, and you want to have a hot drink every morning when you start, think about it in smart ways. If you happen to be a Pilot Rewards member, and the Pilot Rewards program along with Schneider, it's a great combination. We've done a wonderful job partnering with them. So you earn points with every gallon of fuel that you use. You also earn for 50 gallons a free shower. So you don't have to spend points on a shower. And in fact, if you use multiple times you buy a, a drink, then after a certain number of drinks, you get the next one free. So use that program. That's a terrific way. But try to avoid buying individual cups as you go along. Perhaps try and buy it in bulk. And if you have the opportunity, perhaps you have something to cook hot water in your truck, use that to make instant coffee, or in my case, tea. So one of the things you deal with a lot on the road is the expensive food. And if you're going into a truck stop, or even just a local convenience store and buying food off the shelf, even if it's prepackaged stuff that you still have to make, it's going to be more expensive. Uh, so do your best to do your buying when you're home. If you're home for, say, a weekend or every other weekend, get to your Costco or wherever you like to do your shopping that is budget friendly and buy in bulk. One of the things we're doing at Schneider as we rotate our trucks out and as our trucks age, we get new ones. Those new ones have some additional driver comfort features. Uh, the biggest one is an inverter to run 110 volt products and a refrigerator. Oh, a refrigerator, glory, wonderful thing to have. But when you've got an older truck or if you're just starting out, maybe the thing to do is to bring a cooler. There are two different kinds of coolers that are available to you. One of them is an electronic cooler. This is a cooler that you plug into 12 volts and it will cool about 30 degrees below the ambient temperature of the outside air. And those work pretty well for most of the year. July, August, or if you're out in Phoenix, you know, you're based out there, it might be a little more difficult because it can't quite cool down to where the food safe temperatures are. But you can always supplement it with a little bit more ice in that cooler. But trying to keep stuff cold, be safe when you're doing it, but don't hesitate to take advantage of the fact that in every OC, we've got free ice. There you go. If you're able to go to an OC, say for overnight, don't forget you've got access to free showers, free laundry. There's often some form of food available there, whether it's a snack bar or even just a good vending system. It's a great place to know there's going to be a parking spot. Parking is one of the biggest issues we have for new drivers, and it's extremely rare that you would get to an operating center and there would not be some place for you to park with your tractor. So take advantage of all the things that are available there. You can fuel. If you need a little fuel, remember you never take a penalty for fueling at an OC. Everything else you need is right there. And if you have a question about something, there's always an expert somewhere nearby. So one of the ways you can save some money is by buying your supplies for the truck. Everything from pens and pencils to your laundry detergent to wipes to keep your truck clean. 
uh, maybe a little brush or whatever to keep the floor clean. Do that at the grocery store, your Costco, or wherever you like to go to save money. The dollar store, great place to save some money. If you need some dishes like uh, paper plates or tin foil, aluminum foil, I'm dating myself by saying tin foil, <laughs> you can find all of those kinds of things at a dollar store or your local convenience store is not a good choice for things like that because it's going to be $4.99 for something that costs you a buck ninety-nine at the other store. So one of the greatest things about the last 20 years is the advent of apps for your phone. And it's a terrific way to stay on top of your bills. So we were just talking about your budget. When you're working on your budget, figure out which one of these bills can be paid via app. Use those apps to not incur late fees. That way, you know that your bills are paid. There's less stress when you're out on the road. Everything's taken care of back at home. Using an ATM can be a great way to, to get cash that you need on hand. Right now, a lot of us are using plastic money because that's what places expect us to use. You may find, as time goes on, that you want to have some cash in your pocket. And we always recommend you have some actual dollars in your pocket when you're driving, just in case there are some expenses that you need to cover with cash. ATMs can be a great resource, but be really careful about them. If, you're, if you belong to a bank or, an, or a credit union that has free uh, ATM access in your area, go there first. Try to think about that before you leave home so that you're not trying to get cash out of an ATM at a truck stop and it's charging you a three or a four dollar fee. You'll find that your fellow drivers are often a great resource in learning how to save money on the road. Some of these guys have been driving for 15, 20, 25, 30 years. They're really good at saving money on the road. So they know what pilot points to use, where to use them. They, they know the other loyalty programs that might be out there for you. Not to mention the fact that they know where you can stop to save some money. Thanks for watching. If you have any tips, post them down below. We'd love to see what you have to say about how to save money when you're out on the road. And if you're a Schneider driver, thanks for driving for us. Stay safe. If you're interested in the Schneider job, then go to schneiderjobs.com.